According to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, in 2006, an estimated 3.1 million people between the age of 12 to 25 years old misused over-the-counter cough and cold medications. Over-the-counter drugs, also known as OTCs, are medicines that can be sold directly to people without a prescription. Drug abuse is not limited to street drugs, and besides marijuana, in the U.S., the most commonly abused drugs are legal medicines. Abuse of OTCs includes taking medicine in a way or dose other than directed on the package, taking medicine for the effect it causes, for example, to get high, and mixing OTC medicines together to create new products. Dextromethorphan, also known as DXM, is a cough suppressant found in many OTC cold medicines. It is recognized as a substance of abuse in the United States and around the world. It is a synthetically produced drug that is available in more than 140 over-the-counter cough and cold preparations. Some of these include Tylenol cough and cold, Theraflu, Vicks, Dayquil, and NyQuil. It was first approved by the FDA and released in the 1950s, but it quickly became a significant drug of abuse and was eventually removed from the market. Manufacturers reintroduced the drug with an unpleasant taste in order to decrease the prevalence of drug abuse. However, sales decreased and this forced manufacturers to enhance the taste. This caused the drug to become a significant drug of abuse again, mostly with younger people. DXM attaches to receptors in the brain called NMDA receptors and stops their activity. It works to suppress a cough by decreasing activity in the area of the brain which is responsible for eliciting a cough. In high doses, DXM blocks these receptors, leading to impairment in learning and memory processes. Studies show high doses of DXM include approximately 400 milligrams of DXM per 70 kilogram person. DXM abuse can produce adverse effects such as panic, mania, hallucinations, slow and labored breathing, blurred vision, constipation, dizziness, and seizures. To prevent misuse of OTCs that have DXM, it is important for you to follow the recommendations as described by the OTC drug. You should also be aware of the drug's potencies and effects before ingestion. If you need assistance, you should ask a pharmacist at your local pharmacy or also a doctor. Several studies have suggested the use of natural alternative medicines, such as honey and ginger, to prevent or relieve a cough. A dose of 2.5 milliliters of honey before bed has been shown to alleviate cough-related symptoms as efficiently as DXM through its anti-inflammatory properties. Ginger also has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects that suppress respiratory sensitivities without the side effects caused by DXM. Overall, it is not bad to take medications with DXM if you present symptoms of cough and cold. However, it is important to be mindful of the drug's effects to avoid the misuse of DXM. Alternative medicines, as previously mentioned, like ginger and honey, can be taken instead of DXM to manage your flu-like symptoms.